Hello and welcome back to Groove Mechanics Techno Tricks video number six. So this time around I'm going to show you um, basically how to use any sound um, and turn it into some sort of cool interesting lead. Um, in this case a pad type sound. So one thing I've encountered in the past is thinking to myself I don't have anything good um, to create cool pads but the thing is that anything um, can produce a cool pad basically what you're after is something that contrasts against your other synths so a sampler is a really good way of doing that so for this trick first thing I'm going to do is insert a sampler and as I mentioned you can use pretty much any sound for this um, I've got a bunch of um, recordings that I've made with my zoom that are funky noises of me just hitting stuff. And I've just got one here that I'm going to bung into this sampler. Cool, so the first thing we've got to do is uh, find a cool section to loop of this. Um, so yeah, this is why you can use any sound, because you're basically just using the interesting kind of waveform section that you want for the body of your sound. So I'm just going to turn sustain mode on and make that forwards backwards mode and move our loop brace so that we're looping an interesting section of our sound. And I'm just going to move that start marker as well. Now I'm just going to add a bit of crossfade to make that a bit smaller, a bit less crossfade maybe. Cool, so that's a pretty interesting sound. Now I'm just going to turn on the release mode as well. And turn up our release so we can hear that working. Cool, so that's not exactly what we're after. Let's just move that. And I might actually make it the exact same section as. Cool, so just add the same amount of crossfade. Slight bit of difference with slightly different crossfade gives it a kind of slightly different tonality. So let's roll with that. Now, the next thing to do is tune our um, sample here. So if I just stick a tuner on here, and if I'm playing C on the keyboard, it says it's F. So let's change the root note to F. Now when I press C on the keyboard, it's playing a C, but we still need to um, tune that with this D tune. So if I go down, there we go, bung on C. So we can, might just make it a little bit sharp. Cool, so the next thing that we can do is use this oscillator section in the sampler to add some FM synthesis. Um, and this can be pretty cool. So let's just turn the volume up. Sounds pretty wicked. I'm just going to go about there and maybe turn down the oscillator of this uh, FM down a little bit. Cool. Now if we play this a bit higher. That sounds uh, pretty interesting. So 
let's roll with that. And I'm also going to add just an LFO um, modulating the pitch ever so slightly just to give it a little bit more of an organic feel. So turn re-trigger off and crank this up. Maybe speed this up a little bit. I'm just going to add the very, like, the slightest amount. That's sounding pretty interesting. I might just do a little bit of randomization on the panning too. And then when we play chords, we get a very cool sound. So I'm also just going to make it a little bit more pad-like by increasing the attack. change our first settings a little bit and I'm just going to bring the cutoff frequency down on the filter maybe add some filter envelope amounts and kind of get it to open slowly Now you can add further variation by um, adding this, so basically the time uh, for all these envelopes will actually change depending on what uh, key you press, so just having a slightest uh, difference in that means that each voice or each note that you press will play back slightly differently as well. So that's sounding pretty cool. I'm just going to add a little bit of um, wave shaping here. Now, our track is in E minor. That's what our acid line is doing. So I'm going to add a scale effect and just change that to E minor. Also going to add a chord MIDI effect and just make it just play a perfect fifth. Cool. So one thing I like to do with sounds that are like that sustain, so hold a note, I like to use a notch filter that sweeps up and down just to um, create a little bit of variation. So if I turn this up, so that's slowly sweeping up and down the sound. And that just adds a little bit more variation to it. Um, also going to cut some low end. And maybe a bit around there as well. Now let's add some reverb and this will start sounding a bit more like a pad. Cool. Might just add some compression there. And a little bit more saturation, but just with the analog clip mode. Now let's try that with the rest of our track.
that's kind of where I want it, uh, but you get the idea. So basically using any sample in a sampler um, to create a cool lead type sound. So I've created a pad, but you could use this more like a lead. But yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time.